you know, another important seven marks question dear students from the page of straight lines show that the straight lines represented by x plus 2a whole square minus 3y square equal to 0 and x is equal to a form an equilateral triangle see here the given pair of lines first given lines given lines so first set of lines is x plus 2a whole square minus 3y square is equal to 0. Here I am going to write x plus 2a whole square minus 3y square. Can I write it as root 3 into y whole square? The meaning cannot be changed enough. It is in the form of a square minus b square. a plus b into a minus b. So x plus 2a plus root 3y into x plus 2a minus root 3y equal to 0. So from this one line, from this another line. So first line is here x plus root 3y plus 2a equal to 0. Put that equation number 1. And second line, x minus root 3y plus 2a equal to 0, second line. And the third line is x is equal to a. That means here we can take this side, x minus a equal to 0. So they are asking to prove these three lines forms an equilateral triangle. So equation 1, equation 2. Next, equation 3. First, find out the angle between 1 and 2. That is, here we are assuming that angle A. Find out angle between 2 and 3. That is, angle B. Angle between 3 and 1 is angle C. If you prove that angle A equal to angle B equal to angle C, then the given lines forms an equilateral triangle. So, here, first find out the angle between them. In the earlier classes, we learned that cos theta formula, just I am reminding from the straight lines concept, the complete playlist of straight lines with you in our channel, dear students, as with Pandira channel, in this complete straight line topic, 14 videos are available in the playlist. Last year, last year itself, I made videos uh, by taking the help of uh, others. You can utilize dear students. Now, cos theta formula I am writing. Cos theta equal to. If these lines are compared with a1x plus b1y plus c1. a2x plus b2y plus c2. So, the answer is cos theta equal to mod a1a2 plus b1b2. By root over a1 square plus b1 square into a2 square plus b2 square. This formula we are going to apply. So, let capital A be the angle between 1 and 2 then cos A equal to so here mod here x coefficient 1 here x coefficient 1 A1 A2 so 1 into 1 plus b1 b2 root 3 into minus 3 root 3 into minus root 3 by root of a1 square plus b1 square so 1 square plus root 3 whole square next a2 square plus b2 square 1 plus minus root 3 whole square so which is equal to mod 1 minus into plus is minus root 3 into root 3 is 3 by Square root of 1 plus 3, 4, 1 plus 3, 4. 4 into 4. So cos A equal to mod 1 minus 3 is 2 divided by root 16. 4. So which is equal to 1 by 2. So that implies that cos A equal to 1 by 2. That is 1 by 2 can be written as cos 60 degrees. So A equal to 60 degrees. A value we got it. Similarly, 
angle between 2 and 3 also calculated. Let capital B be the angle between 2 and 3 then cos B equal to mod in 2 and 3 here x coefficients 1 into 1 plus here minus root 3 into 0 Here y coefficient is not there now in this by root over a1 square plus b1 square 1 square plus minus root 3 whole square a2 square plus b2 square 1 plus 0 so which is equal to 0 and everything is 0 1 by root 4 that is equal to 1 by 2 so cos b equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to cos 60 degrees that implies B is equal to 60 degrees. In triangle ABC, we know that the sum of the angles, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degrees. So angle A value 60 degrees, angle B also 60 degrees plus C equal to 180 degrees. So 120 degrees plus C equal to 180 degrees. So C is equal to 180 minus 120. So C equal to 60 degrees. So therefore, by observing angle A equal to angle B equal to angle C is 60 degrees. Then, triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle therefore given lines forms an equilateral triangle hence prove they are asking to prove the result forms an equilateral triangle I hope you understand your students. Thank you, all of you, for watching our channel. Thank you all.